just ahead of him, look. He's got that gap down to 58 2. Again, he is lapping quicker than everybody on track at the moment. Yago Kietz. Eyeing up second position ahead of him. Thomas Kier Olsen on the Rockstar Energy S Varna. Yago Kietz only 6.8 seconds off the lead now. This is a gap between him and Olsen in second. Prado in that left hander look. Conditions starting to rough up. Oh, these are conditions that are going to play perfectly into the hands of Yago Kietz here. Oh, and a mistake there from Olsen. That allows Yago Kietz to get the drive around the outside. He's going to have to go the long way round, square off, and cut to the inside. Oh, he's got uh, Olsen on the ropes here. Yago Kietz will be hoping after MXGP race one, they leave the track as it is. Just uh, sort the jumps out on the wave section, and that'll be it. Because the rougher, the better for the young kid from Belgium. Utilising different lines all over this racetrack, the 193 on that Monster Energy Camille Yamaha. There's Prado, just a couple of corners ahead of these two. It was 4.9 the gap at the end of lap 11. Prado's making his way towards the finish line just ahead of these two, out of the left hander. Are they starting to trip themselves up? Well, 157 1 for uh, Prado. 59.9 and a 58.7. Yeah, 8.3 the gap again. So all of a sudden, a bit of a roadblock here for Yago Kietz to deal with. He'll get his head down, though, if he can. Another bit of a mistake there from uh, Olsen as the back end goes one side and then the other as he came into land. Nice line choice there for Yago Kietz. Good drive out of the turn. Wheel on the ground nice and early. Getting good drive here, almost alongside the Dane as they hit the first of the two tabletops here. 